If you're tired of sitting in your car and tearing up from the outdated electronics, old trash, and even older caramel stuck in the carpet, I've been there while flipping a car, it's not fun. You don't need to go spending thousands of dollars to improve your interior. A lot of times, little touches can actually make a really big difference in any interior, whether you've got a $30,000 car or a $3,000 car. And thanks to a Mr. Jeffy Bezos, a lot of them can be at your house for pretty cheap in just two days. Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going over 10 of the best interior car accessories from Amazon and most of these are even under 30 bucks. Let's get into it. I've got links to the highest rated items for all these in the description for you guys, so check those out after along with my other interior mod videos if you need more ideas. Let me know any other good cheap interior parts I forgot to mention and stay till the end for stuff that a lot of people hype up but that isn't actually worth your money. Also subscribe for weekly uploads and like the video for 5 extra horsepower and a big thank you. Anyway, number one for this is a very helpful thing for the back of your car. No. No, not not that. It's a rear view camera and there are actually a lot of good options for these on Amazon. There are a lot of great dash cams on there too that I'll link in the description, but I'm gonna focus more on the backup ones for now. There are more expensive rear view cameras that can either replace or clip onto a rear view mirror, but I feel like that would just overcomplicate things. For a nice simple backup camera, there's everything from ones that bolt onto the top of plates, ones that are built into plate frames, and ones that just screw directly into a surface. There are also some that come with just the camera and others that have a display display in case you don't have an aftermarket touchscreen already in your car. If you don't have a display, you can get a combo for 50 bucks, and if you do have one, you'll be able to reverse to wherever you want to go for as low as $25. Man, go tear? What do you refer, tear? What do you refer? Oh, Lord! Next up might be a little boring, but I guarantee it'll be wicked helpful, and it's a trash container. Believe me, I know the pain of seeing that same wrapper, paper towel, or random piece of trash sitting in your car for months. It's like every time you get in, you glance at it and think, this time, when I get out, I'm just gonna throw it away. I'm gonna do it. And then five minutes later, you completely forget, and it sits there till the next time you see it, and don't end up taking it out. It makes it way easier if you bring the trash to your trash than if you bring your trash to the trash. Trash. You could just use some plastic bag as a trash bag and that would work, but these are pretty cheap, more sturdy than a plastic bag so it won't rip or let stuff fall out, and you won't have to keep finding more bags to replace it. It's also got little mesh pockets for like cleaning stuff I guess, can hang from a seat, and it's only 16 bucks, which is not bad at all. Third for today is a phone holder, and with these you've got a lot of options. There's wireless charging, ones with magnets, some that fit pop sockets, and some that move around when you put the phone on. Some have air vents or or a lot of them have sticky suction mounts to go on either a dash or the windshield. Depending on what you go with, these can be as cheap as $13 or as expensive as like $30. One time though at a random small yard sale I went to, I did some serious pro business negotiating and got one of these bad boys for $5. That's, that's right. That's right. I did that. Actually, the negotiating was just them telling me they wanted five bucks, and I was so surprised that I didn't really consider it. I just kind of bought it. Next is another phone-related one, and also something that I've been using religiously for the last, like, six years, and it's an FM transmitter. For any car that doesn't have Bluetooth or an aux cord, FM transmitters will let you connect anything with Bluetooth to your radio. All you've got to do is plug it into a 12-volt car socket, connect your phone to it, set it and your radio to the same otherwise static station, and bone apple teeth you've got a Bluetooth car. These also have a couple different versions, but after having one of the ones that stuck out and moved around, then getting a small simple one, I would definitely suggest the simple ones. The problem with the one that I had that stuck out was that it wasn't uncommon for it to disconnect when I went over bumps. If you go with a short, simpler one like the newer, better one I have, they're easier to use, have a sturdier design, and are less likely to have problems with bumps. And you'll probably rarely use the buttons on this thing anyway, so why not just have it be more hidden away? Number five is a highly underestimated air freshener. Whether you get little trees, some random mirror hanging one, a liquid one for a vent, or light a few candles, it's always a different kind of awesome when you sit down in a car that smells really good. And honestly, I think that's enough said on that. Okay.
The sixth Amazon accessory might hit home for some people, but it's a seat gap filler. For these, you can get simple foam ones just to close the gap into the dark abyss that nothing ever comes back from, or you can get one for storage. There are plastic or fabric covered ones, and some even have little cup holders, which is pretty convenient. Even if you don't drop your stuff a lot and you like more easily accessible storage, this could be a great option. These are also pretty cheap though, so it doesn't hurt to play it safe instead of slowly going insane till you're that one guy in every group like, something once keeping on track of not having stuff fall on the ground between having the gap filler and the trash bin number seven is a vacuum this one might be really obvious to some people everybody's been using vacuums for forever this pretty much goes back to the cavemen but like the link i included with over 200,000 reviews car vacuums are being sold for as cheap as 30 bucks and they really suck in a good way I'm also seeing a lot more that pop up that are small portable ones that double as a tire inflator. I actually have one and it's hard to believe it's possible that it'll work, but I'm pretty eager to test it. Vacuuming your car could be another thing like leaving wrappers around, but if you have one in the car, it'll probably be a lot easier to just do it real quick. Speaking of dirty floors, next is floor mats, but really focused on heavy duty rubber ones. If you can get not so great ones for free, then that's a win. But if you're going to buy floor mats, I'd only really consider the decent rubber ones that have a tallish raised lip around the edges. Carpet mats would be better than nothing, and flat ones are great, but the ones with the raised sides like this are way better for actually holding the dirt in them instead of letting it all roll off immediately. Second to last is interior LEDs, and this consists of footwell lighting, EL wire, upgraded dome lights, or even ceiling laser lights. I've talked about this stuff a couple times in the video, but as small, fun, cheap, easy to install things go, interior lighting is one of the best things. Footwell lighting did become really common for a time, but I feel like it's a great subtle but easily noticeable way to go with this, and some even connect to your phone and react to music. A lot of people might imagine having to wire these into the car and think, I think this is a liability nightmare, so I'm out. But at this point, a lot of these are just plugged in with a USB port for power. If a USB is the way you go, it might take a little more sneaky maneuvering through the interior with the wires, but that's probably how I would do it. And the final Amazon accessory, at least before the ones to stay away from, is a trunk organizer. Very straightforward thing, super useful for storing stuff like jumper cables, cleaning wipes, air fresheners, spare clothes, or a leftover burger or two. The same company that makes the highest rated vacuum I mentioned actually also sells one of the highest rated trunk trash bins, and trunk organizers. These ones specifically seem pretty flexible when you're not using them, but still sturdy as you'd want one to be. Now, after all the good things from Amazon, I felt like I should mention some things that a lot of people seem to talk about, but that aren't actually great in reality. First is one of those cleaning goop things, and second is an Amazon Alexa. Really hoping I set off someone's thing. If I did, you've got to tell me. I feel like the goopy slime things got a lot of attention just because it's weird, but a lot of people mentioned that they make more of a mess from leaving little spots than they actually clean. This type of thing also won't be super sustainable as it holds more and more dust, but something better for getting into those little areas would just be a brush and a vacuum nearby. That'll probably be easier to use, cheaper in the end, more effective, and it'll last much longer. For the Echoes, it seems like they're a really cool concept, but not useful in reality. Even all other reviews seem to say that it's not really necessary if you have a smartphone, but it's definitely a cool thought. Let me know in the comments what Amazon accessories I didn't have on here, or if you have any of these and if you love or hate them. Also tell me if I made your Alexa go off and what videos you'd want to see in the future or if you have any questions. You can send me what you want to see or questions in the comments or as a DM on Instagram. As always, thank you guys all so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day.